Christmas baby coming guys but I just want to sleep. It has been very intense, very intense. But graduate medicine is accelerated so what can I expect? Welcome to my Christmas special where we'll be going over the answers to your questions, your lovely questions that you have kindly left in the comments. Thank you guys. Oh, I love to answer your questions, yes. That is the highlight of this video. Also, quick update guys, I have booked my flights to Ukraine. Yes, I'm going. I'm actually going. Anyway, we're going now. We've got the insurance, don't worry. It's exciting guys, yes. And of course, I'll be vlogging the whole way, but I thought I'd squeeze in a little video before Christmas. You're welcome. <laughs> and answer your questions. Stop talking, Amy, and let's get going. Okay. Before we go, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, please. Just like a little gift to me, you could subscribe. That would be very nice. Let's um, get going on the Q&A session. Okay, guys, so question number one is from Savannah. Hey, Amy, I was just wondering why you decided to attend Dnipro Medical Institute instead of staying in the UK. Thank you, Savannah, for your question. And yes, I'd say two main reasons I decided to study at Dnipro, maybe three. Yeah. Number one is because I like traveling. I like living in new cultures, in new cities and experiencing all of that. I didn't want to spend another four years in England. And I like to have lots of little lives. Oh, I've still got my lights on. Is that distracting? Let me turn them off too much going on Amy. Number two is because I have no money. I have no money. Obviously you get a student loan for your first degree but now I have no money so I have to do it the cheap way but that doesn't mean the education is not as good as Medlink the agency. Little shout out to Medlink always. Um, will tell you the standard of the education in Europe across the world is pretty good and Ukraine is one of the best in Europe and I've now got one of the best online learning systems as well so yeah there we go Savannah hope that answered your question reddit you also said hey there can I ask you why you picked Ukraine and Dnipro in particular this is linked to the other question I answered it is one of the cheaper ones in Eastern Europe and now Medlink are really good. Uh, when I do the application video I will go through this. Medlink are really good at narrowing down what uni would suit you so they go through what you would like even in the city not just the learning and then obviously your budget. Now Dnipro Ukraine was pretty much the only one in my budget so I had to kind of go with it. I also like the sound of the city, how there are thousands of English students studying there. There's a big UK community over there. Kind of reassured me that yeah I'll be um, embracing the Ukrainian culture but also close to home and people in the same boat over there as well. Yeah that's why I choose it Reddit. I hope that answers your question again. Okay so the next question is from Bolu. Bolu said hi Amy I also heard about the Nipro Medical Institute for Medicine when I contacted Medlink. Oh, okay, Medlink. <laughs> um, and I am curious about student life there in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I've only been to Ukraine like once for a week and I will be going in January. So I will be able to tell you a lot more about student life next year. The university have just started a student union. They're introducing lots of societies. And so I'm sure there'll be lots of socials and etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it and I will keep you up to date about all the student life. Don't worry. Da, 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 da. Now we have a question from K Zulmuru. Hey, smiley face. I heard that you can study medicine at DMI online three years and then do clinical rotations in the UK. Can you expand on that? And what's the process, etc.? Thanks. Now, because of COVID, the Nipro Medical Institute are the one of the only universities that you can study online on even after uh, even after COVID. The online platform is permanent. It's not just a temporary fix for COVID. Okay. Yes, you can study online for three years, so you could be based anywhere. But remember, for exams, you will probably have to be in Ukraine for that. And yes, you can do clinical rotations in the UK as well, but I'd say it's a lot more independent. You need to be a lot more responsible, a lot more responsibility on yourself. If you, if you know that, if you've got good contacts, then do it. And then, yeah. 
not only in the UK you can do it, you can pick anywhere to do your rotations. For me, I'm doing it in Ukraine because it's going to be cheaper. I've got a question from Kennedy. <laughs> How do you manage your organisation? I mean, that's my main problem here. Sad face and really crying face. You know, the one that goes, uh. I've got a lot of information, but the online organisation stresses me out. I'm also a student at DMI. I talked about this in my previous video. I've had to adapt a lot. Even though it's all online, I do still like everything on paper. My key is I have a list. Wait a sec. Here you go. It looks a bit crazy because I'm going to start a new one. I don't know if you can see that. Ah! It's so simple, but it just keeps me in check, okay? So I number it. So I've got like ten, nine different subjects. And then I have little tick boxes of the homework, any preparation I need to do. I date when it's due and then I highlight. I've got three standards. Red means you need to do it. Orange means you should do it soon. And green means, nah, you've got ages, don't worry about it yet. I think that's the main thing. I wake up every morning and just think, right, that's what i got to do. Um, and yeah, that's how I do it. Now a question from Sapna. Hey, Amy, very insightful videos. Thank you. Thanks, Sapna. <laughs> I have a question. Does Dinit Pro, <laughs> it's in caps lock, sorry, have the Bolonga system or whatever the five point system is called? Point system for graduate students like yourself as well. How is like having to learn theory or three years in just one year? Please do reply. It will be really appreciated. Smiley face, smiley face. Rah, that's a proper mad question. That. Hi, Zapna. So I did reply to the first part of that question about the five point system. That is a yes. We do use that. I don't know what they call it. I explain that in the comments here. Pause the video if you want. And then, OK, so having to learn theory of three years in just one year. A lot of people ask me this and it's because, yeah, it is technically this year is a catch up year. I only took one year out between my undergraduate and graduate. So everything's still kind of in my head. But if you apply with Medlink, they are great guys. They put us on a croc preparation course and they are literally going through everything with us. Just simplified for what we need to know for the croc. Also, Medlink have arranged uh, for us to be put into the anatomy classes. So I'm with first year anatomy students. Next, a question from Yash Vilmira. Vilmira. Verma. Yash Verma. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Hey. Hey. Hey, Yash. I'm planning to apply to Dnipro for graduate entry. I'm a biochem graduate. Same. Ditto. I wanted to know how hard is graduate entry medicine? I mean, from what I've heard, you go into third year, right? <laughs> how is the course structured? How difficult is graduate entry for a biochem graduate who didn't have anatomy, for instance? Okay, I basically covered this in the previous question. Biochemistry, that's a great degree to have if you're going into graduate medicine. You basically know everything you need to know apart from I'd say histology and anatomy okay and also medlink provides you with a free account of kenhub don't know if you guys have heard of it but it is great it goes through all the things you need to know for histology and anatomy and it simplifies it really nicely how is the course structured i think we're gonna have to make a video about that on its own but below i have included a link to the basic module outline comment from it's Khan. hi amy what would your opinions be on studying medicine straight after high school without going college and doing a levels Rah. my sister is in year 11 currently and will be doing her gcse's medlink have provided this option at dnipro i'm just worried about my sister still struggle on the course as she's going from gcse's straight to medicine degree it is a big jump thanks smiley face wow oh you're so sweet to care about your sister that's that's really nice Little story, when I arrived in Dnipro, I met this girl at the airport. I think she was like 21. Yeah, she was 21. And she was a doctor. She'd done it all in Ukraine. It was just amazing. <laughs> she was 21 and she was a doctor. So that just proves it's possible. Must have been a bloody genius. But if you think your sister can do it, then go for it. If I, at year 11, had had once the confidence to go abroad and do it, I would have done it. Two, to be intelligent enough just after GCSEs, I would say it's useful to do A-levels before going to university. For me, it made uni a lot easier. But look after your sister, that's a big decision. Question from Stapna. Which university are going to be part of? How will your first year syllabus will be taught? 
Are you aware of the particulars of the syllabus breakdown yet? Probably a video suggestion if I may so. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Okay. assumptions it will help those like myself considering to come to ukraine for med smiley face bracket is that another smiley face maybe all right that's probably a double smiley face not that that's the question okay the question is about the syllabus which i've already mentioned sabna and yes i yeah i think i'll do a, a video about the breakdown a lot of you seemed interested about how the whole course is structured and sure okay i'll write it down now here we go you're done now. Okay guys, why am I holding a pen? That was all the questions for now. <laughs> if you do have any more questions, comment below, comment. Wait. Before we finish, just wanted to throw in a little golden set. A very important thing I learned this week is to have a place to get away from studying, okay? I had a quite hard week, got a bit consumed by all the work. I live with my dad. I just went to my mum's. It was just nice to get away. It was just really nice to wake up and like not straight away think about uni. So I would say find your study free zone, your study free zone where you do not think about studying at all, a place you can go. And I think you need to change the location as well. I think it can't just be me doing yoga in my bedroom because I study in my bedroom. It needs to be somewhere else because I do have breaks, but I, I think a change of location is what I need. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, I've given you a lot of my precious time. Oh my God. You can lay down there. That's it for today, guys. Wishing you a very, very Merry Christmas. And I will see you in 2021 when I will be officially moving to Ukraine. Finally, hopefully, guys, we roll out that vaccine and start afresh. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, guys. I'm also on Instagram at Amy and Army. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.